<laughs> All right, there's a guy that has been making the rounds in downtown Minneapolis. He has a distinct rock star look that you don't often see around these parts, and that's because he's not from these parts, but he lives here now, and he loves it. Emily introduces you to L.A. Nick, and you'll be surprised to learn where he's from and the impact that he's making on his new home. a lot of people that love their city. They love Minneapolis, but there is no guy or gal that loves Minneapolis more than L.A. Nick. But here's the best part. He's not from Minneapolis or L.A. I'm from Philadelphia. I came here to do a project in the Mall of America, a film project, and uh, I came downtown and it just I, it just wowed me. I just love the city. Nick's first love is music. Although he won't publicly say who he played with, Nick's rep says he was the touring drummer for some big name rock bands back in the 80s and 90s. That rock star status has stuck with local business owners. Well, I think L.A. Nick is a really cool guy. So, I mean, he's one of the nicest guys that I know. Well, he yeah, loves sure. Minneapolis. Have you met anybody down here that loves Minneapolis more than no, that guy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anybody. <laughs> I know. It's pretty cool. You know, and I mean, he loves my store. He loves all my neighbor's stores. He's always uh, talking up everybody's businesses. I eat, play, stay all downtown. Nick's goal is to get other people to love downtown, too. So he started asking people to take pictures that highlighted the city. The only catch was he needed to be in the photo somewhere, sort of Where's Waldo of Minneapolis. A panel of five judges sifted through the entries and chose this as the winning picture. I saw the contest and thought, you know, I, I work down here, I'm down here a lot, my wife and I come down here and it's like, it's, it's a great city, if I can help promote it anyway, and I had seen a few pictures on the website and thought, you know, they're not really promoting Minneapolis that I had seen so far, it was just kind of some quick shots and I thought, I can do better than that. So. I sat down and thought about what kind of thing, what kind of things I could put in there to make this Minneapolis and kind of showcase Minneapolis. Came up with the idea and ran into Nick and got him to quick stand there with me for the picture and we got it done. Not only does Officer Pat McCarver get the bragging rights for the winning picture, he also gets a thousand bucks just in time for some holiday shopping, hopefully in downtown Minneapolis. So what are you going to do with the money? Actually, I talked to my wife about it. If we did it, my wife works at a school in Minneapolis, and we have been, we're helping out a family this winter. It's a mom with a bunch of kids needing some help, and they're trying to get some supplies for them. Well, we're donating, we're bringing one of our old toddler beds to them. And we thought, if we win this, we can use some of the money, and we'll help them out with some Christmas presents, things like that. So that's what a chunk of it's going to go to. And then I'll buy my kids a couple little things. Although the contest got a lot of attention, Nick says it was never about him. Either way, the business owners we talked to say Nick's enthusiasm for Minneapolis has been good for business. Um, Nick should be harnessed to do this statewide, actually, as kind of a touring, a touring uh, explorer guide. What do you think of that? You know, I won't <laughs> leave downtown. Personality. So we do want to mention that Officer McCarver there, he was off duty when he won the contest. He just was very busy, didn't have time to run home and change, and he looks really cool in his uniform, so why would you want to? Absolutely. Right? Congratulations.